Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Truck Talk and uh, Time with Jesus. You know, we're in a time that uh, we can either continue on the pathway that we're on. Hopefully it's a good pathway and hopefully we're really examining our lives and really looking at the messages that the Lord has been giving people. You know, I think I think back, and I went through a couple tablets the other day, and I was reading, and I see, I seen where I written down about a you know that uh, volcano, which I've spoke about many times on here, and I seen the other day in the Google headlines that an 800 year old volcano. That ha- I mean, I, I guess it hasn't erupted in 800 years. I guess is possibility of doing that very thing. And the hurricanes and stuff that's about to hit this year, they're just gonna they're just gonna keep coming in people and just hitting and, and destroying things. But if you live in those fault lines anyways, I should say fault line, maybe maybe it is, but I don't know. If you live in those categories, areas that um, you have to expect that the hurricanes are going to come, you know, down along the coast of Florida, going up all the way up to the coast, all the way to the very top of New York. I believe that God's showing us the signs of the things to come. You know, we look at today's time and we look how people dress. We look how people act. We look at the selfishness, the boastfulness. We look at the pride of themselves, you know, seeking seeking for themselves and and for nothing else. We can't further the kingdom of God if we are not going out and doing things for God. Which is talking about his son that he has sent and living that lifestyle, denying yourself of the flesh and allowing him to increase in us. We can't see God working if we're not willing to stand back and watch God work. You know, I go in faith on many things that I have done and I have seen the most incredible outcome. It goes under that verse, lean not on your own understanding, but His. You know, we can go back and forth with this all night and day and worry about asteroids hitting us or aliens approaching or AI taking over. But you notice how fast all these things come in and go out. They come in and go out. We've seen them in movies for years and years and we hear about it now, but look how fast it disappears. Because Lucifer has to get you ready for the things that are coming so you're not surprised. You're going to think it's everyday life. And when you think it's everyday life, people, look what's going to happen. You're going to keep falling right into that trick, the schemes of things to come. But, by the way, I am on my way to work. The reason why I say this, because the company I work for, the safety, one of the safety managers says about videos and stuff like that. But it is a one touch. I am obeying DOT in the regulations, same as I do with my headsets, but I like to say that because I don't want no headaches of coming into an office and trying to explain why I'm doing what I'm doing, and to be honest with you, um, if it's a one touch either way, then it can't really be faulted. But I'm not inside their vehicle, so that's why I talk about this on the videos. It's changed since the other ones because the other companies never questioned it. Matter of fact, some of the people at the other companies was like, I had no idea. Some of the stuff you talk about, but it makes sense. But we do live in a world way where it's, um, you know, I obey by man's rules until an inner, until it rejects God's rules, I guess, is a better way to put it. And once it comes to that, 
then I, I open myself back up to God and say, okay, if I don't continue to do it this way, I stand a chance of being let go. Well, today, I, I, I just lay that at, at the Lord's feet and say, here you go, this is what's going on, and, and I let Him be the judge of it. You know, we have gone a long way since the very first video to where we are and the very things that I've spoken about many times to people, the food pricing, the food shortages, the, the plagues of things, the recalls of food, the rising of fuel, you know, the, the state of Ohio, I just read the state of Ohio is raising their fuel tax again. I don't see how this is even possible. We have all this oil and all this stuff here, and it falls back to, let's just really put it out there, they have to make up this money on the stimulus crap. But the current administration wants to give out more stimulus, more stuff to the people on disability and all this stuff, which I'm not saying, I'm not coming against it, I'm just saying, why now? Because it's been nothing but a circus? And we know it's been a circus. We know Biden is not truly running the the White House. I mean, come on, people. I mean, let's just really think about the pre the prior administrations to where we are today. Biden is basically the vice president, and the vice president of Biden is the vice vice president. It's funny. My wife said that the other day. I was like makes sense to me because she truly is the vice vice president not even really vice president you know i read a poll not too long ago what what has the vice president accomplished in the last three years name some of her goals of what she has done and the only thing people have said is that she babbles on and laughs like a hyena well isn't that something that's not a whole lot to be uh, remembered for. Now they're talking about taking Biden, trying to get Biden to drop out of the campaign. On top of that, they're talking about um, now well, they're making excuses for the stuff that he said. Well, we have beat Medicaid. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You, all you did is put some extra card stuff into place, even if that's even true. Like I said, there's that thing on YouTube. No, people, that one's fake. This one's fake. Go to this site. Call it in. few simple questions. You get $5,600 and so much a month. Whether it is true, if it is true, then uh, all I got to say is enjoy spending the money because somebody like us that go to work every day, are going to have to pay this back somehow, whether it's in property taxes, if you own a home. How many of you have witnessed your uh, property taxes and stuff going up? Because they're just going to keep hitting us everywhere they can. Taxes, food. It's going to get to a point where people are going to stop shopping. You realize if we went out, and I've spoken this before, if we went out and everybody fueled up, and I'm talking, even if you filled up a couple gas cans or whatever, most likely you could get by in a week's time, depending on how much you drive. Like, for instance, I drive two hours and 15 minutes to work. Sometimes it takes me two, two hours and a half, depending on the traffic. So you throw all that into the equation. You know, I can still make it to work and back in a week's time. So if we all went into fuel, if we all come together and Twittered it and put it on YouTube, put it on every social media event, and all of us went in there fueled one in one day and did not buy fuel, they would freak out. If we all went into the grocery stores and bought enough food that you could make spaghetti and eat it for a couple days, because you don't have to mix the sauce with the noodles, you could put the noodles inside of a bag, put... put a couple slices of butter and stuff in there to when you heat them up, it re-moistens everything up. I've done it plenty of time. Even when I mix the sauce all together, I'd put a little bit of butter in a frying pan and toss uh, everything in there and heat it up that way. It almost become like a little 
fried kind of thing, or I baked it back in the oven, put some cheese on it, whatever. But either way, but I'm, what I'm getting at is, if we, if we did this, the grocery stores would have to really drop the prices. Instead, raise them, raise them, raise them. Now there is people that's going off about certain stores and calling it the Big Bad Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf can be beaten. You're right. I mean, you you can go to any any store if you do your homework at different places that you go to and shop at. Then, by all means, yes, you you probably could save at different places and. Uh, not spend as much. Produce? Yeah, produce is terrible right now. I, I literally think the price of produce for what they're what, what people are charging for the yellow squash is like ridiculous. Where we were driving back from a restaurant the other day and Darlene seen this uh, produce stand and we pulled in there and for a yellow squash nice size they, they wanted the dollar well the other places are wanting so much a pound or a dollar forty dollar fifty something like that and I'm, I'm thinking in my head going well for a dollar fifty we got two of uh, fifty cents more we got two so and if you're paying by pound that's ridiculous too how can you pay for a pound for one stuff and pay a dollar forty-eight or dollar fifty for one that's this is supposed to be fresh from the garden? But what the heck is the other stuff that you have on your regular displays? I mean, people, you, you got to use common sense here. I mean, you truly got to use some sense and look at the prices because there's a lot of times you can get off-brand stuff for cheaper. And then there's time you can get the name brand stuff cheaper than the off brand stuff. Because it's a supply and demand. It's it, They're making money on it. So naturally, if they're making money on it, they're, they're going to raise the prices up a little bit. The more they sell, the more they make. It's just how the business works. But I'll tell you one thing. I don't, I, I don't ever not trust that God's not going to put food on the table. I rely on it. I count on it. And I go by His promise. That he will feed me, take care of me, clothe me, and shelter me. I go off the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And what he has done on, from defeating that beating, defeating the cross, defeating the grave, and beating hell, and walking out victorious, still beaten and battered, spiritual warfare people I mean sometimes you really got to think is what I'm watching worth it is what you're listening to worth it because the more you sing the songs, the more the words play over and over and over in your self-conscious. But if you put yourself in a positive place, then you have positive things going on. to watch what we do in life because if we don't people are going to see how you act everyday life and then when something does happen you automatically go well no I, I don't believe it it's like I'll believe it when I see it the reason why because people has done so many things around you when you look at them and you go no but then sometimes it's the opposite effect because they have put an image in your head and when it 
first time something happens, you automatically goes back to that image and you don't believe it. Well, sometimes you eat your own words. But where I'm going with that is this. You should always do things the right way all the time. Now, when this hurricane comes through, it's going to be uh, pretty massive. And this may simply be the one that goes into Texas, comes back and smacks Texas again, and goes up the Florida line, and destroys and destroys all the way up to New York, and this may be the one that brings that, that flood I keep seeing. You know, you, you look at all the scare things that are going on out here. You know, these women going in and killing, a, you know, this woman going in and killing another woman and, and a child. People stabbing people. People running into places and shooting up places. Fear, 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 fear. You know, how many of you could stand face to face with the person that killed your child and ask God for forgiveness. Well, I, I would say probably one out of ten. I might be wrong on that, but I, I seriously doubt it. Depending on how close your walk is with Jesus. See, because we forget that the people are under an influence that we can't see. Nobody in their right mind is going to go up to somebody and just stab them. Nobody. That's pure evil, and that's what leads them to do it. The voices tell them to do it. So you got to weigh it out for yourself. And the amazing thing is, I sat back and there's times that I even I even told Darlene, you know, I, I really don't tell you a, a lot of how proud I am of you and your accomplishments and the things that you have done because there's so much going on all the time. But there's, it's, and really, I felt bad about it because there's no excuse for it. You know, I, I you start flipping your priorities and... It's wrong. But anyways, you know, there's some people retiring at the place that she's at, and some of them have been very horrible to her. And Darlene's one of them people that will pray with anybody. She will, I mean, yeah, she has her moments, you know, but she has come a long way from the bad, the, the striking out moments to being more subtle and willing to pray now more than ever but anyways she was they retiring so she's buying them retirement gifts and I'm sitting there thinking in my head going I've started to remember about things in my past of people have done what, what they have done and uh, I never even went to the retirement thing or never went to anything that uh, they were involved in because of who they were. But then I started thinking about the Bible scripture, you know, do good even for those who have done wrong to you. Feed those who have done wrong to you. And it made me look at her going, you know, well done, I'm proud of you. All that's, I mean, and the one person's been pretty nasty. You know, she just jumped on her one day because we were walking into the pantry, and one of the volunteers likes to tell people the rules of the people coming in to receive, but she's the very one that fills her own bags up with stuff and breaks the rules. Well, how can you stop? somebody from doing something that you do. It makes no sense to me. That's just a pure hated 
hearted person. Does things, and when she's corrected on it, she is um, confrontational with it. Don't want to hear it. I said people you really have to watch and look on the pathway that you're on we have to continue to examine ourselves and have the Lord Jesus Christ examine your life with you so today's a new day sinless day whenever you're watching this And it's up to you. It's up to you of how you respond today. Respond differently than you normally would. And watch the events change in your life. So, I got a couple other videos that that I'm going to upload. And... Then I'm going to start digging back into some other stuff. And then, uh, yes, people, back into the good old finishing up the hell video. But I just want to say, because people ask, so I just want to give the updates on the reviews and stuff. I was actually kind of shocked because for the first time ever since I've been watching this, I mean, seriously, I've, the, there was never nothing in that category. And I, I believe it's 18 to 24. And what, a, what an incredible amount of viewers that were in that in the last two weeks. And I'm sitting there just looking at that going, wow. And then I looked at the states and the countries, and I'm kind of amazed. I mean, honestly, that's why I kept saying, like it. Like the videos if you like it. Don't just like it to like it. But if you're liking it, it's helping to hit the like button because it's putting these videos out into places that it normally wouldn't have gone. The shares are like totally up. And I I, I thank you guys for sharing the videos because I, I truly believe these videos can help people. Because God and Jesus is first in all of this. I just repeat 90% of it, what they give me. can't fear closing the, the rise of prices, food, gasoline, uh, our homes, rent, mortgages, whatever it may be. We can't. Because there's no place for fear. But I was actually shocked, getting back to the reviews, I was actually shocked that Moscow I'm like whoa good for them as far as old subscribers it's way down way down on 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 people watching it and as far as new subscribers it's like skyrocketing. I mean, the, the the graphs is like compared to people that used to watch it. I, I would imagine that, and some of the subscri- s- subscribers must have canceled because you'd seen a drop, but then it, then you see the new ones come in, and it over came that number that dropped plus more onto it. But I can honestly say. There is 
into the hundreds of non-subscribers that watch these videos. Which I think is pretty cool. Women, hate to tell you this, but the males have blew you out of the water in the last four weeks. I went and looked at the weekly recaps and males are like 79% and the women are like 39%. So we, I got more male viewers watching. Which is nothing wrong with that. I, I, I just find it interesting that, wow. And the crazy thing is, it seems like there's more women commenting than males, but there's more males watching. Which is it's kind of that kind of blows my mind a little bit, but it's 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 pretty cool. That you know, if, if there for a while, I never ever watched any of the the reviews or anything on it, or because I'm like, eh. And now I'm just like curious to see how far out everything's going, and the age groups. There's even, I think, five percent now in the sixty six year old bracket. Which never was there before. Which I'm excited about that because it gives people the opportunity to repent and, and to truly seek Jesus and truly live the rest of their lives in peace, love, and joy, happiness, and, and the experience of miracles that you have never seen or the change of things in your life that you would never see walking. Because he put the, the, Lucifer put spiritual blinders, so that's where we're at. And it's been an it's been an interesting year. Uh, I went back and looked at the number of videos compared to it does month to month, and you can see yearly. And the prior year before, you can look at that group that you're in. Well, we're into the seventh month, and I'm actually down quite a bit on videos I have a lot done I just haven't went through and uploaded them yet more or less because I've been answering a lot of other questions and talking to people on uh, emails and stuff and there's still a lot I haven't got to and there's still one from a, uh, a guy that said it was okay finally to use his first name and totally honest with you I went through the tablet that I write everything down that I want to do videos on or whatever and people that I want to get back to and you know it's like oh wow I thought I already did this video and I looked at some of the ones I had done and still haven't done it then I went back a little bit further and I found another one that I told the guy that I would do one on trucking and I'm actually almost finished with that one and it'll just kind of give you a heads up of basically what a daily truck driver goes through because he was considering going to get his CDL and wanted to know exactly what you go through. Well. You know, it's fine and dandy, these people that show you their trucks and the inside of the trucks and exactly what it is, and that, that, that's all nice. But that has nothing to do with being a truck driver. I mean, it does because we're in such a tight, co confined space, and some of the trucks is, are laid out pretty nice, and other ones you just get a base mile hunk of junk. I mean, do I have my favorite of vehicles? compared to others, yes, uh, I'm, I'm currently in an international truck, and every time I get up, I hit my head, or if I get out of the bunk, I hit my head, uh, you can't really move too much in there, I mean, you take like two steps in your, from the driver's seat to where you sleep, compared to some of the freight liners that you get into, you got a whole lot of room. And in the freight liners, your top bunk, you can turn a knob and push it upwards, and you have all that space above you. Internationals don't. The top bunk is stationary. 
so there's things like that 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 does make a big difference in your everyday life being a truck driver are the seats comfortable is you can you adjust the seats you know can you i mean it's like every time i get out of that truck i gotta readjust something i don't understand how that's even possible but i do so you you know there's times when it's cold outside you don't get a lot of exercise and it can take toll on your body too so there's a lot that I'm going to show on this video and go through and I hope everybody that normally subscribes to the channel I hope they watch it you know unbelievable how still since a few years back to, to, to current date as of yesterday which was the 4th of July best watch I should say the most watch but yeah, it could be the best <laughs> it's the hell testimony that is the highest ranking video that I have on it well I'm okay with that too but I'm only okay with it if people are truly learning from it. I'm going to say one more thing on this video and pretty much end it. I just wanted to come on here and just hope everybody had a safe, very safe 4th of July. And nobody fell back into their old ways which drinking and whatever drugs whatever else that they're normally done because the holidays can seem to do that hopefully you're still on that pathway where Jesus is in defeating the defeating the enemy and that's by being obedient but I was asked my belief on something Usually when I start off an uh, email like this, I'm going, oh, my, oh no. <laughs> so I was, I'm reading the email and I'm going down through there and I'm like, interesting. So to answer the question about uh, people in your lives, People, negative people and people that are serving Lucifer is no good to be in your life. If these people are constantly, you see them gossiping and, and breaking down the spirit of someone else, or constantly doing stuff to bring harm, or constantly trying to seek God's judgment and, and then be punished, or bad things happen to them, you don't need people like that in your life. I don't care if it's friends, family, I don't care who it is. You start sitting with them long enough, you become exactly what they are. Well, I tell you what, I did not want to get out of bed. I pushed myself. Yesterday was a, uh, I mean, the last two days, I mean, I mean these two days I had off is, uh, it's crazy. You know, because I hear people say, oh man, the weekend went too fast. And I'm thinking, you know, as you push yourself all week long, and then I got to drive two and a half hours home, all I want to do is go to bed. And then this, this particular Wednesday and Thursday, Darlene had a uh, staff appreciation to go to. So she left, I think it was like around 10-ish. And she was supposed to got home around 1 because we had some uh, things to do. And it was basically almost 3 o'clock by the time we finally got out of the house, by the time she got home and everything else. And Brandon picked up a few things at, the, at this auction 
places and took stuff out to my sister. Then we, well, we got something to eat and then went out to my sister, dropped off some things and then uh, went home. And we had, yesterday, we pretty much went to a few different stores. Some of the places trying to find something that opened was a bigger pain in the butt than I think. Then uh, some of the stores you did go into were so packed, it was so ridiculous, it just kind of made me uneasy and I couldn't wait to get out of that store. That's just, that's just how I am about things. So, bottom line of it is, you're in control of your life, you're in control of the garbage you let in your life or the garbage that you throw out of your life. If you can't do it, you can ask Jesus to help you. But yes, I'm, I'm a firm believer of people that are no good in your life to get them out of your life. You, first of all, you don't need a friend, you don't need a family member, you don't need anybody in your life that's like that. All you can do is continue to pray for these people. That's it. So... This is going to be an interesting month. God's has opening doors for people. Are you in that number? You'll soon find out. Real fast. So either way, all these little things, these little gold nuggets I'm throwing out there, the video's coming up go into detail about the open doors and the gifts in the very demonic realm of things. So, hope you all liked this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. And if you feel the need to share it, go ahead and share it. Oh, one more thing. I believe... I know there's two ways to pronounce this name because I've heard people pronounce it different ways, but I'm just going to say it how I normally say it, which is Megan. Megan, depending on where you live, because let's face it, I get two days off. So, depending on where you live, I would have no problems coming to your church and doing a testimony or speaking on what the Lord has given me at all. I, I've spoken that many times on these videos. Um, yeah, I I have no problems doing that. I have no problem. It's the same as I don't have no problems doing these videos. So, if, if you got a Wednesday night, it most likely would have to be Wednesday on a Wednesday night because depending on how far it is, it could be a Thursday. Depending on how far it is. Because I still would have to drive home because I have to go to work the next day, which is today, Friday. So that being said, by all means, let me know. Uh, my email, again, it's been on here is n n w r o b i n s seven 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 at hotmail com. One B, even though my name is spelled with two Bs, because of being hacked and this is the only way I could get another email I don't know so here you go <laughs> but anyways God bless you guys love you until the next one